guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing my favorite snack, chicken pie. So for the dry ingredients, we are going to be needing plain flour, salt, and baking powder. We'll also need some eggs as well, sugar, optional, and also milk, optional. We also need something to bind all the ingredients together. That's where this butter would come in. So the first thing I like to do is to pull my flour into a dry bowl. Most of this I don't have um measurement for it. So I literally I boil my I bought most of my ingredients. So I've put some salt, had a teaspoon of baking powder and also be adding some sugar as well this one you add it to your taste i like my pastry a bit sweet so at this time i'm gonna mix all the dry ingredients because i want everything to be mixed in the flour so when i do that i will get my butter so i've got some old butter at home and i don't want to literally open another one first so that's why i'm using this old one it's best you actually use your hand because you get the job done properly so i'm gonna use my hand to mix the flour with the butter now i'll get my new butter my shiny new butter <laughs> and i'll use just maybe one third of it because i already used some from the old ones so i use one third of it and i would make sure i mix and mix this process is gonna take long because what we are aiming for is a crumb breadcrumb paste you know how breadcrumb can be that's what we want so we want the butter and the flour and everything to mix mix together this looks messy but trust me this is what will make your pastry amazing now we want to mix it with a liquid substance you can use water if you want but as i said earlier i wanted mine to be sweet and yummy and scrumptious so i have used evaporated milk this is amazing trust me your whole house is going to be smelling like a bakery with with this like when you use milk so now i'm gonna mix everything together to get my dough because we want a very nice dough so i'm gonna keep mixing and mixing and mixing and mixing oh gosh this takes long you know this mixing takes long oh yeah here i've overdone it now i've got my assistant helping me i've put too much water and i've also put too much milk it's okay it's not the end of the world so I'm um, at this time I'm gonna add some flowers to it. So I'm gonna add some flowers and I keep keep going, keep going. This took a very long time. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna lie. But at the end of the day, we got there. We got what we wanted, and now I am going to cover my dough and gonna put that in the fridge. <laughs> I got so for the fillings. We are going to use some chicken because it's chicken pie. Ooh, what happened to it? Okay, now so I just started. That was so quick. Just started with um cooking my chicken. Yes, we have to cook the chicken first. So you season the chicken with whatever you like, your own season. This is what I like, how I like my chicken to be seasoned. So I'm going to season my chicken and I would start with the um, veg. So for this, we're going to use some carrots. We're going to use some potato. Car what's that thing called? Potato, right? Yeah, potato, carrot, and onions. Ooh, everything is just going so fast. Yeah, so, oh gosh, yeah, okay. You guys should just enjoy it because it's like, it's just going so fast. And I'm like, okay, where am I? What am I supposed to do? But, um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I have nothing more to say. So, at this point, I've cut my carrot, my potato, my onions and also i'm checking up on my chicken you see how this thing just cooks so fast no it doesn't take this long i mean it, it, it oh it doesn't take this it oh my god i can't even get my words it's not as fast as this so i've cooked my chicken i've taken my chicken out now i am 
cutting my chicken into small pieces sometimes i like to leave a big piece actually i do like to leave a big piece because i love the richness that's what if there's anything i prefer to make my own chicken pie at home because i love the way i make it so now i am going to be making my fillings so the first thing we do is we are going to first fry a little bit i don't like my onions to fry so i'm gonna fry my onions i forgot to show you this is optional everything that i might be showing you guys now is optional you can put some pepper because i'm a more yoruba let me we can't eat food without no pepper like it's just gonna irritate me so i pull my bell pepper as i said it's optional you don't have to make sure my pepper and everything is well you know marinated properly in the in the frying thing then i've added my chicken Oh, as I'm talking to you guys right now, I'm not even lying. It's been like three days I've made this, and that's what I'm having for breakfast. I'm having this meat pie right now with my breakfast with a cup of tea, and I can still smell the amazingness of everything. So I've added everything. I've added right now. I've just added water, and the reason why I've added the water is to cook the potato and the carrot. So I'm gonna add some water. I checked it. I needed some little bit of something for taste so i've added water i didn't put any seasoning because the chicken was already seasoned already so i've just put just salt i'll leave that to cook now check if my carrots and my potato are soft because we don't want we don't want something that is not cooked we want our food to be cooked properly so stir it a little bit my potato was cooked and everything to be honest i don't know why they do this but they put so, oh actually i do know to make it ticking and all that but yeah pull oh my god i'm so slow in this thing guys i'm so sorry <laughs> um um now what we're we doing oh gosh i think i'll just leave you guys to watch because i think i'm rubbish at this i'm sorry guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video <laughs> i'll come back I cannot wait The way you hang down The crumbs you wanna write down go, go, go. people be like that's not don't do it it is meant to be squared no you can do it whatever way i don't know why meat pie is squared and chicken pie is triangle or, sh or what's that square no round this is round um i just wanted to do it like this i basically just take like one of my balls these as utensils to mark this i personally think the reason why they do meat pie like this this shape and chicken pie that shape is to of course if you're doing chicken and meat pie just identify it but i like sometimes i like to see my chicken pie like this so what i've done is to put the filling in cut the edge and take the fork to close the joint where butts of the chicken pie has met so just you know things like that oh my god i'm so rubbish at this um i'm gonna get my butter now just to make sure the pie has something to stick on because i don't want it to be like burning burning so that's why i put my meat those um, um butter on the pan so at this one i think i'm gonna be doing it the right way people actually in nigeria do the chicken pie so i've gotten this um i don't know cover of takeaway thing to use as a um, utensils like to mark the square stuff so make sure another tip is to make sure that your dough is flatly rolled like you want it to be very uh I, when you're doing it call me i'll come and do it for you in your house like roll it properly so now i've got in the tenses and i've cut out the original shape of what the meat pie should kind of look like i love when i was doing this i was so happy I was like yes look at me i got in the right shape and the right size it's so uh, nice as i said also i like my chicken pie the feeling to be you know i want to be eating chicken pie like homemade one not like half of it is like dough and half of it is like pastries like half of the feeling is so tiny so i like to make sure there's enough inside enough 
chicken and they're not filling inside <laughs> <laughs> guys this is so nice like i still have it at home and it's super super nice like i love it so that's it looking nice and pretty now i get my frock and i close it and i make this beautiful shape thingy thingy i love it oh god this was just very therapeutic oh, baby, don't speak english you don't know but it was very nice when i was doing it i was very very happy so now i've preheated my oven to like the highest then I'm gonna beat the egg. The egg is just to put on top of the pastry. So this is the original one, and this is the fake, fake one. But all of them are chicken pie. So I put that in the. Oh my god, I'm so excited! I love this. Look at me, baker. I'm a baker. Look, look at your girl. I need to go open baking shovel. Look at those things. There you now see. <laughs> sorry, sorry, guys. I've been shouting. I'm so ex when I made this, I was super proud of myself. Like I always make meat pie. I mean chicken pie. Have I been saying chicken meat pie? Look, look at that. Tell me which bakery can make this. Which bakery now? So that's that. I brought it out. I have other batch. My dough made about five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I made about twenty of it. So I put them on this tray rack to like kind of stay there so because I, I can use the other one and i think that's about it it's not a biggie it's just you know that's mama was for Jaden. we didn't eat it sha so this is the nice part this is how i love eating my chicken pie i know i'm weird trust me chicken pie with ice cream or yogurt oh my god oh my god i, I gave it to my friends sometimes they were like ew what's this but they liked it after they finished eating it they liked it but this is amazing. This is yummy. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a huge, huge thumbs up. And I hope you learn one or two things from it. Bye-bye.